Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, well, while I was walking along this uh, power line clearing right behind me, there's a little pool of water right back here. And I was looking for cricket frogs, and green tree frogs, and, uh, you know, really any amphibian in general. And uh, as I was walking along the edge on the far side, way over there, I uh, heard some rustling in the grass. So uh, I was, like, sitting through it, and all of a sudden I pulled out not one, but two southern copperheads. The one on the right is a male, and the one on the left, the smaller one, is a female. And, uh, yeah, they weren't quite happy to see me. And I'm guessing they're a mating pair, because I heard the rustling long before I actually uh, pulled them out. So, so uh, southern copperheads are the most uh, common venomous snakes we have in North Carolina. Um, they are actually in the, the most uh, least toxic behind the pygmy rattlesnake. Um, but although they're the least toxic, they actually account for the most snake bites in uh, h here in North Carolina, and uh, rarely they result in death because you know it's a mild venom. But still, it's something you don't want to go tampering with. That's why I'm not touching them because these ones aren't as docile as the one I found last year. So um, yeah, I'm remaking this video because I'm I got a new camera, obviously, and so I want to make the videos a little higher quality. Makes sense, but. Uh, yeah, um, they're really uh, easy to identify snakes. They got uh, the hourglass pattern, as you can see, and uh, they have really uh, copper color head and the eyes, which are probably the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen on a snake, you know. Just beautiful. Um, anyways, um, just overall beautiful snakes. Copperheads will eat uh, mainly rodents, but they'll also take to uh, frogs and... Uh, cicadas, birds, frogs, really anything they can get their mouth on, they'll eat. And they've actually been known to climb trees in search of cicadas, which are these big old bugs that, uh, that make a high-pitched sound during the summertime. And, uh, sorry. Anyways, uh, just really distinctive snakes, and they have a really bad reputation for being persecuted as pests because they, uh, they're known to be venomous, obviously. But, you know, if you think about how more useful they are than destructive, um, I think a lot of people would have changed opinions on them because these snakes take out a huge amount of rodents every year. So there's something to, that farmers and other people that, that work with crops and stuff, you know, you think they'd respect them, but people don't respect these snakes. They just treat them like crap and, you know, this is what I'm here to do is just to teach you guys which snakes are which, how to tell the snakes. You know, during the springtime, they're uh, diurnal. During the late spring, about right now, they're crepsepular, which means they're active in the uh, dawn, till, um, and then they're active at dusk. And then they're active at night during the summertime. And uh, as you can see, the male, he's just wanting to get away. He's not trying to confront me, like strike at me. And uh, they're starting to get rowdy up, so I'm probably gonna let them go here soon. The little female, oh, the little female's being a little sweetheart. Don't bite. This is quite, uh, that was quite interesting. And you can see those heat pits on the side of the face. Well defined heat pits, sorry. Mosquitoes are biting the hell out of me. Off he goes. The old chunk head. So yeah, I'm gonna get her over to the mail before he gets too far. Don't want her to get hurt, so I'm gonna... Oh, there she's getting grumpy again. You see, she's very pretty. Very nice pattern. She's definitely a, a pure southern copperhead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh! Did you hear that? You see that? You see that tail vibration? Oh!
Very intelligent snakes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, so, I'll see you later.